Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1.1 and I expected this build to be a minor update with bug fixes but I found some tweaks here and there that are worth mentioning and I have it installed on my Pixel 9 Pro fold as I'm keeping the 9 Pro XL for the official release of Android 16. So without further ado, let's jump in. Starting with the build number and the update size, it's pp31.250502.008.8. And when it comes to the update size on the 9 Pro Fold, it's only 5.84 megabytes. And now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the wallpaper and the style app that got most of the new changes. And the first thing you will notice here is the new suggested photos. And the carousel will immediately show photos from my gallery as suggestions. And when I tap on the more photos button, I will see the same section at the top. And this button used to be called choose a photo, but now it's renamed to more photos. There is also another change under settings. When you go to settings and then security and the privacy and then device unlock and then fingerprint unlock. You will notice here that Google removed a new option that was recently added with QPR1 beta 1 called check enrolled fingerprints which will allow you to identify which fingers enrolled in your list but they did something better with beta 1.1 now you can immediately touch the sensor to identify the finger another change under security and the privacy when you go to the device unlock and go to any of these options that requires entering your pin once you enter the pin and tap on next it will ask you once more for another verification method to be able to access this page. While previously the same action on beta 1 doesn't require a secondary authentication. So that's it when it comes to the new changes in beta 1.1. But there are also some changes I would like to share with you that I missed to mention in my previous videos. But they are not related to beta 1.1 specifically. But they are certainly related to Android 16 in general. And the first change is under settings and then security and the privacy. When you scroll all the way down you will see a brand new option called advanced protection. The description says advanced protection helps defend against online attacks, harmful apps, insecure connections and other threats that put your data at risk. And when you scroll down you will get even more details. The first one is called device theft. And this feature will automatically restart the device if it remains locked for three days. And then under apps, you have the Google Play Protect, which scans your apps automatically. It will block your phone from installing unknown apps or apps from unknown sources. And then we have the memory tagging extension, which says protects against memory corruption in supported apps. And under networks, it will block any 2G connection, which is insecure. Under web, we have the Android Safe Browsing. Chrome browsing, which will only use HTTPS websites. And then we have JavaScript protections. And under phone by Google, you have the caller ID and spam, and then spam filtering. And finally, we have Google messages, which has spam protection and suspicious links. Once you turn on the switch, all these security measures will be applied. And when you do it for the first time, you will get this floating card on the screen giving you some heads up like the apps on your device can see if the device protection is on. On devices where 2G protection is available, 2G connections will be blocked except for emergency calling. And finally, some websites may not load as expected. And if you agree with this, you need to restart the device. So once you tap on restart, the advanced protection will be applied. The second feature I want to show you is the new animation when you push the slider all the way down or up. As you see here, it's flexible and moves with you, which is a new feature to Android 16. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video or any of my previous videos, they are now available in the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. I add 12 new wallpapers per week and sometimes even more. You will find Google Play Store download link in the description. And by the way, within 10 days from now, you should be able to download these wallpapers locally on the device to be able to enjoy the new Android 16 effects. So stay tuned for this one. And now let's get back to the video. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Now let's talk about the bug fixes. And we have a long list of stuff here. 
The first one is a fix for an issue where the navigation buttons would become unresponsive in the app drawer or task switcher. Fix an issue where the progress bar in the media player on the lock screen doesn't reflect the place in media. Fix the crash when trying to open effects in wallpaper. And I did experience this one myself many times. Then there's a fix for an issue where the settings app would crash after trying to open the battery menu. Then there's a fix for an issue where the lock screen data could get cut off when using a wide clock style. Then there is a fix for an issue where the search button has a different color when scrolling. Fixed an issue where the approve button in device admin settings is missing. Then we have a fix for an issue where dark album labels appeared in the photo picker when in dark mode, impacting readability. Then we have a fix for an issue where the date wasn't appearing on the home screen. And finally, fixed a fingerprint authentication failure on a multi-user Android device in certain low power conditions. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything you need to know about Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1.1. I didn't have enough time to test the performance and battery, but I will keep you posted in my future videos if I spotted anything interesting about Android 16. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.